Hello everyone, it's Jamal Thomas. Welcome to the Progressive Soapbox. So let's have a 420. It's early, but apparently I'm not going to work today. I have an infection somewhere, so I'm going to the hospital. Um, this adds a little bit more credence to this particular 420, so let's just talk. I, you know, it's funny. It, the, the hospital thing, it, I have no outward feelings about it, if that makes sense. I do have feelings about it when I think about it, when I dig into it. But it's not, I think, the normal feelings people have when they go to the hospital. Mine are multifaceted, multi-layered, and I can look at each layer. Some of those layers are terrifying to me. Of those, of those layers are also terrifying, but in a different way. Like, so, I spent years back and forth in a hospital. Years. From the time I was 17, probably, to my 30s. I was back and forth in the hospital for long-term things, for very bad things. So I am accustomed to it. So it's not a fear at that point. It's a, okay, let's just go to the hospital. So on that level, yeah, I have no feelings about it. On the secondary level, it's this thing of, hey, what if this is like it was before? What if this is like it was before? Now, then you have this other level of saying, hey, at least you're free for the day. That level scares me also. That level, that level, that that particular one terrifies me. Because that's the one that says, I'm going to get self-interest out of this by getting out of work for a day. Now, the catch for that is, you're going to have, bad things are going to happen to you today. <laughs> you didn't get out of work today. At least in my head, I, if I'm a physician, if, I'm, if I treat it like I treat a software program, the way I go about debugging code, yes, it will be a bad day. Um... And you know what? Despite all that, despite everything that I think about this, I, I even have this layer of the conception of somebody else, the other. This thing of um, what is the other perspective of that? Because I know, flat fact know, that the conception that other people are going to have of me saying that is never going to be the conception of what it is. That they have their own judgments, biases, ideas, thoughts, patterns, things that they went through for their particular life to add coloring to that moment. The reality and the honest reality of it is there is no coloring to it. A person is going to the hospital because he may have an infection. The coloring is yours. If there's any feeling, if there's anything else other than this flat fact thing. But even in me saying this flat fact thing, there's coloring to it. Even for me. And, and again, this is my conception of the other. Even me, even me, God's arbiter, is in some degree going to be wrong in his appraisal. The flat fact that I know is that I'm going to be wrong in that appraisal, and other people are going to be wrong in that appraisal, and they are going to have appraisals that completely miss the reality of the situation of a flat fact thing. All of reality is like that. All of it. Everything that you look at is like that. It's a weird thing. You dig into it, and you think, these dramas... These petty, petty dramas that we engage ourselves in, all of the light and the color that we ascribe around us, that smell of that orange, that first day when you go outside in the spring, you're like, holy shit, it feels awesome out here today. All those things, when you first go to the ocean, those are just you. There's nothing else there. There's just you. The honest, undeniable, unvarnished, uncomfortable, absolutely terrifying and monstrous and at the same time liberating secret. None of it matters. Nothing ultimately matters. Nothing at all. Linger on that for a moment. Because that's a big fucking deal. Think of each and every person that you know. Think of each and everything that you have given worth. That guy can quote pi to the 20th digit. That guy can jump that far. That guy's cock is 20 inches long. None of it matters. They're just human conception. A person looks at it and gives it some kind of worth. Ultimately, even if that person was there, it's just the thing that takes place. We can blink out of existence tomorrow and it wouldn't matter one iota. On some level of the time-space fabric, I guess, Earth has been extinguished by the sun. All traces of the things that we've done as man are gone. None of it matters. That bites. That stings even. Now, you still pull yourself out of bed in the morning because you don't have a choice. And I even question that what do i know what do i know hey i know nothing matters ultimately because any outside there's no outside perspective in that sense at, le at least and i'm taking this from a very particular context physical matter reality context 
And and look, you can have different contexts. So I'm just taking this particular one because this is the one we're trapped in. What I know is I am something. I'm looking out. I have senses. I can perceive a particular game space. I know I have an avatar that I'm associated with and I'm trapped to. I'm bound to. I am inextricably bound to this particular thing. And being bound to this particular thing, I can survey the world. But there's a catch. Pain. Pain. We try to avoid it. We try to escape it. Each and everything that we do in our lives that is driven on is by pain. If pain didn't exist, nothing would matter. There will be things that you find pleasure in, but this world would just be a pleasurable experience and you would have no context to the pleasurableness of that particular experience. It would just be a thing. Pain is the thing that drives the experience. Your ability to escape pain is the thing that drives you on. You get out in the bed in the morning to escape pain. You call it scarcity, you call it a job, you call it all these things, but ultimately what it really, when you get deep, deep, deep down into it, it's how do I avoid scarcity? How do I avoid pain? This consciousness is strapped to this avatar. This avatar is things that it likes to do. Things that it's weaved into in the fabric of a particular society. I don't want those things. What if I don't want to be trapped to those stories? And yet you're trapped to those stories. Those things have weight. And in having weight, you associate, you, you realize, I don't know what's out there, and I don't know what's real, and I don't even know where I am. Those things are honest. Those things are true. Those things are flat facts. Those things, I would argue, are unimpeachable. There's no way you can, you can prove that anything else exists outside of you. This physical matter reality is true. Physics are awesome at trying to discern what physical matter reality or the properties of physical matter reality. They have no fucking clue what physical matter reality is. Explain to me what this is. Explain to me where I am. Those are the questions I have. Those are the things I want to know. Those are the things that are hidden from me. Those are the things that are hidden from me. And being trapped to this particular body, I am compelled to find things that keep this body alive. Otherwise, I expire. Now, I don't necessarily know if I go with this particular body. But at the very least, because pain exists, I know I'm bound to this body means there's a chance that when this body expires, I will go with it. There's ambiguity in everything that we do. We're literally stuck in a game space that we have no fucking clue what it is. We have certain properties, yes. We can say, okay, this is a rock, this is a mineral, this is a this, this is a that. Ultimately, none of those things have value, none of those things have weight, and yes, we ascribe value and weight to those things. Um, I'm, I'm getting at a very particular point. As people, how we organize ourselves, how we arrange ourselves, is up to us. The things that you give value to are the things that you give value to. What does your society want to believe in? What does your society want to do? That's choice. That's choice. It's a collective choice, so it makes it difficult, but it's a choice. What do you value? The problem with the society is that the society values different things. You have some people who value life, you have some people who value profit, and you have some people who say, hey, I can have a decadent life for the time frame that I'm here. Fuck everybody else. The rest of society goes along with it for various reasons. That could change. It should change. Now, you may need to shepherd society forward a little bit by doing legislation and policy that gets you to that particular place, but society can change. The values that we've ascribed to our particular society are purely just values we ourselves have ascribed to this particular society. They're not real. They're not real. What do you believe in? What do you think is important? And shouldn't your society represent the things that you think is important, particularly since there is no God above or anything else to tell you otherwise? What is important to you is the thing that you choose to be important to you. What has value to you is the thing that you choose that value to. What is worth is purely a conception of choice. That's it. Choice. Human cognition. Yes, it will be extinguished one day, but that is the weight of value. But at the same token, you should still have the thing whispering in your ear. It doesn't matter. That it doesn't matter is important. Believe it or not, it's terrifying, it's difficult, but it's important. Because think of the petty dramas that you experience on a daily basis. They don't matter. They don't matter. What do you value? What do you value? What are the things that you choose to value? You can exceed these petty dramas, particularly when you realize they don't matter. Ultimately, I usually end up with, I don't care. That's my default stance on most things. I don't know and I don't care. That's usually my default stance. What other stance can I take? I don't even know where I am. I don't know where I am. 
And I know some people may say, whoa, where's where's the woo-woo guy? Where's the guy who's talking about spirit and everything else? My default position is the honest position of I don't fucking know. And because I don't know, when I end up in those states, I exist in those states. And I try to investigate those states. And I interact with people in the same way I interact with people in these states. It's real at the time. And the same way this is real at the time. I have no idea. I have no clue. Um, I'm not going to get too far into this. The, the point of this one was more so you organize society the way you want to organize your society. There's no God above. There's nothing else that tells you in that way. I'm taking a position that there's no God above purely for the position of taking that particular position. I can take another position tomorrow because I don't know. It's ambiguous. Um, but from the physical matter reality position, you can understand when you hit that bare bones of none of this shit matters. It is liberating, but it's also terrifying. What your neighbor chooses to think matters is what matters. What you choose to think matters matters. All of those things are relative to one another, dependent upon what you want to accomplish. The arrangement of your society is going to be arranged in a particular way where there are certain concessions and there are certain things that you gain. Our particular arrangement has crime, torture, all of these things, all these monsters, terrifying things. You have a person waking up in the morning not knowing if they're going to have the things that their basic needs met. Not because we don't have it, just because that particular person is in a society that doesn't give a shit. We have arguments going on whether or not people will get health care. Millions of people. And even then, the health care we're talking about giving them comes with a cost. This is our society. We have people living on the street. We have people in squalor. The United States makes up 5% of the world's population, and yet we're in this country arguing, squabbling over resources the rest of the world does not have. Context is an amazing fucking thing, and it's a thing that's immensely lacking. Also, this idea of it doesn't matter doesn't seem to be a part of the process. Be free. Choose different. That's all I'm saying. And, and recognize that... It's an odd position, I, I know to say that, that nothing matters, but it's true, it doesn't. These are dramas, these are petty dramas. I don't want to be a part of petty dramas, including my own, including my own. To some degree, that makes me not function all that well in this fabric of society. Um, in other ways, it allows me to be above it, which is a problematic, I gotta be honest. It's, it's some degree, it's problematic, that's weakness, that's a weakness. My wife is perfect at it, though, so it helps it out. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it at this. If you enjoy the content, feel free to share, write, subscribe. You can always support the work through Patreon. Thank you.